Good morning. I'm going to show you how to mix easy colours um, and also with some of the new silver um, glitter that we've got. This is the edible glitter. I've already mixed it in here and I've already got in here some um, SLSA. Um, <clears throat> it's sodium bicarbonate which has been sieved in SLSA. I'm just going to drizzle on the colour. For this one I'm going to use the um, this is the USA blend, the FDA blend of green. Anybody can use this green because it's an FDA blend. But the others, the EU ones, not everybody can use them because they aren't FDA approved. So for this purpose, I'm just going to use the FDA blend. And I'm just going to mix that in. I'm going to show you how easy it is to get it all together. So all I've done is I've put the green colour into, there's probably about 5ml of water there, maybe a bit more, and all you have to do is keep on rubbing, I mean I usually use a food mixer but for this purpose I'm going to use my hands, and you just rub it and make sure you keep on rubbing until there are no streaks left. <clears throat> And then once there are no streaks, we'll be, we'll be able to add um, the oils. So the water, which is what we have in here already, is what pops the colour. There's only water that will pop this colour. But once you've done that and you've got it to the consistency that you like, the depth you like, I've put half a gram in here. You can then add your oils and that seems to give it the depth. So what I use in here is this fragrance oil, which for this one I've used the Christmas Sparkle. And then um, there is some Polysorb 880 because I've put some oil in. Now I don't use oils in my bath bombs, but most of you do. So that's why I put it in. So that green's coming up really nice. I can't see much of a way of a streak. So what I'm going to do now, if you can see that, I'm now going to drizzle in all the oils and then I'm going to mix again. And this will deepen the colour further. So the water pops the colour and then the oils tend to deepen it even further. It gives it a sort of, I don't know, an extra depth to it. It's not as difficult as some people think it is. It's so simple. I think most people just try, they tend to overthink things when there's really no need. This is coming on really nicely. And it was so simple as you saw. I'm not sure how much time's gone on the camera, but, uh, oh, three minutes. So, there we have it. We haven't got any streaks. There's a bit of one there. Let's have a look. Just make sure. So what we're going to do now is we now we've got that colour even a bit darker. We're going to add the citric acid and we're going to do the same again. We're just going to keep on mixing, make sure it's all mixed up. Then once we've done that, we can start to mould the bath bomb. This smells absolutely amazing. And it's very Christmassy, this green. It's a lovely green. This is made using yellow five and blue number one. And you can create your own from those two colours. Of course, depending on how much you use of each colour, determines the depth of the green. You might want a, a very pale green, in which case you'd use more yellow. If you want a darker green, you'd then use more blue. So as you can see from this, did you catch that? As you can see from this, it holds. It holds when you do that, look. So now we're going to start and mould them. Let's put that there a minute. And I've got some red um, embeds here that I've made a few weeks ago. I'm going to just use them in a put them in a little ice cube tray like this. You can get these dead cheap on eBay. 
I think there's something like 99 pence each. They're not very expensive. They might be 1.99. I'm not sure. Okay, so now we're going to start moulding them. And we're just going to use a simple ram one like this. And then, because I made those little embeds, I'm just going to whack a load of those in. Anywhere and everywhere I want. Pile it up. And then get the other half. Put a load more embeds in. I'm hoping you can see this okay. I really need to get this camera sorted. It's very difficult. That'd be better. And then you just push them together. And out it comes. And there's your green bath bomb. And what I do is I put it on some tissue paper. Now we're going to do a small one. And do the same, but obviously it's a small bath bomb, so you can't really get many embeds in these. But we'll have a bash. Let's just put a load in there like that. Fill it up. This is very festive, very, very festive. And I'm going to finish it off with a fine spray of um, gold brush. Not gold, silver airbrush. Whoops, I've not got it lined up. There we go. Line it up. There we go, another bath bomb. Now you can put them back in the mold to set if you want. Sometimes that will make them stick though and they're a bit of a nuisance to get out. I'm just going to finish the art, this off and then I'll come back with the next part. 